there. Good afternoon. I'm Cindy Dole, and this is Hour 2 of Home Wizards, your radio home for all things home, garden, and life improvement. I'm here every Saturday from 2 to 4 uh, to help you with what I hope will be uh, your awe experience so that when you uh, walk in that front door and when you finally are back home and uh, you're spending time in the most important place in the world, you're going to say, you know what? Ah, I've arrived and life is pretty darn good. So thanks for sharing part of your Saturday with me today. And, you know, while it's still early in the new year, it is a time when a lot of us make lists and uh, think of those to do's around the house. And they can be overwhelming, uh, but we're going to tackle them uh, Saturday by Saturday, right? Uh, inside and out. So keep the number handy if you want to call on in and join in the conversation. It's 888-KFWB980, 888-539-2980. And uh, coming up in the second hour, you know, Valentine's Day is just gosh, a couple days away. And so when it comes to how to say I love you, we have a very special lady with us. Um, she knows how to really make the common look uncommon and uh, what is something that you may not have even thought about. So beautiful, uh, taking nature and textiles and uh, paper and making a gift or a, a message to someone that you care about just so exquisite. Uh, so we're going to talk with Wanda Wen in just a second about all that. And Rhett, what color are you wearing right now? And how does that color make you feel. Later on, we're going to talk with an expert who's all about the color psychology and how it not only makes an impact on your emotions when you're in your home looking at these colors, but how it can physically, physically make you react. So um, now I have heard, by the way, that the hot color for 2011 is pink. Uh, Pantone, the people that are among those uh, who are the top color and trend watchers in the world, uh, they say that Pantone, uh, their Pantone color is called Honeysuckle, and it's the color of the year. And it's not your bubblegum pink. It's not your soft and dusty pink, but it really is kind of a rosy, rich, and red pink. And you might go, hmm, huh, okay. Well, you wouldn't know it, but pink can actually make you feel very relaxed. There's all different shades of it. You might want to think about, you know, using it in just a little away here or there. A little bit later I'll tell you about some ideas I have uh, to ward off the blues and really think about bringing a little bit of pink, whether you're a guy or a gal, into your home. You know, I'm, first of all, I love matching pink with green, like a soft pink uh, with a Kelly uh, green or like a deeper, darker pink. How about with a, a neon lime? Or maybe even think of um, an accent chair or a throw blanket in your living room that's in pink. And there, of course, is that great fabric by uh, Lily Pulitzer and her pretty icon looks. And, and there's so many great ways you could then create a, a look that's almost like you're in your own little oasis with pink. So who knew? So think about that. Or glassware, candles, you name it. That's all something that you can try. So let's get to it. And our next guest, somebody who is all about really making um, those special moments in our lives even more special by using things that you can find right in your home and in your yard. Love and marriage, love and marriage. Go together like a horse and <laughs> carriage. Well, so what do you get when you mix nature and textured paper and fabric uh, with someone who studied a lot of design and said, you know what, I think I have a passion for paper and a passion for all these great things that, that seem so simple, but boy, when they're together, it's so exquisite. So I had to bring Wanda Wen back to us. Uh, she's the founder of Sulip, and she also has this great thing called the Sulip Wedding, and we're going to learn all about it. So thanks for being here, Wanda. Oh, thanks for having me, yeah. Cindy. Great and, to see you. And you're wearing a little red for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, I had to. I'm in the spirit. <laughs> Are you? Well, cozy up a little closer to the microphone. Okay. And we have all kinds of props that we're going to be able to describe in here. Oh, you have beautiful things. So tell everybody, first of all, about how and why you fell in love with what you do. Oh. Because it really is a love. And I think yeah. that it says so much when you receive something uh, that has so much detail and, and thought put into it before yeah. you even open it up. Yes. Well, Cindy, I've had a lifelong love for paper and nature and seeing the beauty and simplicity and the unexpected, like you said. Um, it's just something that's sort of innate in me. I grew up in Oregon and was always uh, surrounded with nature. And a lot of my work uh, has pressed flowers. I use twigs. I use stones as gift toppers and gifts. Um, I love of press flowers and making cards. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of that in my work. And a lot of what we do at Sulip really is some um, celebrating life's, you know, high moments, precious moments. Um, love is um, really the most powerful feeling of all. And um, right now, if you come to Sulip, it's just 
overflowing with love and red hearts. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's my favorite time of the year because, you know, just, just look at these things. You can't help oh, but smile. Oh. Little felt pieces, uh, a, a felt red heart, heart oh. on a notepad so you could just keep by your bedside table or in your car. And it's something that, you know, just makes you smile. You know, I bet that all your friends, all your Facebook friends, yes. definitely want to be your BFF because you know it's going to be a great <laughs> wand of win gift that's oh. coming. I mean, forget about what's inside. I just want the box. Yeah. Well, it's the, you know, the packaging, I, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, these days we, we all have a lot of stuff already. And so, um, I, I think that the packaging or, or even re-gifting, you know, there's, there's a lot, um, the, the economy has been really challenging and, and we, there's been a lot of, um, I think re-gifting as well. And I think that when you take something and give it a special, you know, a special moment by picking out a great you know, great paper, taking a moment, going outside in your yard and picking up twigs and bundling up in, in wax twine and making that something special and wrapping a gift. It just it just means a lot. You know, the, the energy uh, and the intention is felt, even though the gift recipient may not even feel that. But it's, you know, it, it's it's powerful. Oh, intention. I think they feel it. I mean, because yeah. it looks just so pretty. And, yeah. And it isn't it isn't the everyday thing. Right. right? It's, yeah. It, it doesn't look store bought. And it looks like uh, you took some time, you know, to think of that person. And in these days, in, you know, just time starved lives that we live, you know, to, to realize that someone has taken the time to think of you mm -hmm. in a very special and loving way feels so good, mm -hmm. right? Well, one, yeah. of, one of my high school jobs, I was uh, a gift wrapper at J.C. Penney's. You were? <laughs> <laughs> now, where was this? Oh, yeah, well, in Arcadia. Oh, Arcadia. And uh, yeah. it was, uh, you know, it was one of those old summertime, you know, jobs that you took. And I remember it was, the paper was so so tacky. Yeah. It's nothing like a Wanda Wen. Aww. And you, know, you had like maybe five choices. Okay, what'll it be? You know, and, yeah. and you're so nervous because you want it to look great, but you have to do it quickly. And right, so, right. So how do we get away from that, you know? Well, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, some really gift wrapping is, um, is, it's I'm most inspired when I when I don't have a lot of things to work with. In fact, many of the projects in my book, The Art of Gift Wrapping, which came out last year, many of those came about because I had to be resourceful. Maybe I was at a commercial store and I didn't have a lot to work with. Maybe the pre-printed commercial gift wrapping was not something that I would even ever give you know a gift in so so I would um, maybe just take a brown paper bag, cut it up. Uh, turn it inside out if there was printing on the outside and wrap that and maybe there was cotton string lying around you know or uh, you know a, a sizal twine and using that to wrap your gift and then you know stepping outside and there's trees and bushes and branches and fallen pods all over the place and and using that as your gift topper now that is a beautiful like I would rather receive that gift than a gift wrapped in rolled commercial pre-printed yeah. paper with, you know, one of those pre-printed, you know, pre-done <laughs> shiny bows, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> not that not that they're bad, but but you know, if I had my choice, I would rather I would rather receive something from someone and I would rather give something like that to someone where with the thought. Yeah, with, with the, the thought. thought that counts, right? Yeah. Well, you have a beautiful uh, display of things here. So kind of paint a picture for people who are listening right oh, now. Gosh. We're seeing pinks and reds and things and you yeah. have the pressed flowers. So where do we yeah. begin? Well, you know, we talked about paper yeah. and I That's recently, you know, several years ago I traveled to India and I uh, stumbled upon a garment is... factory and they had um, they had strips of white cotton just lying in the back of the of the factory just mounds of white cotton and I said we have to do something with it so we repulped it and made it into paper and that's what this paper is it is actually made of cotton rag from India's garment industry it has a really thick textured feel and, yeah. and the color is pretty it's pink which is the color of the year yeah it's pink with, with a kind of a taupey color yeah. and we're looking at flowers that have yeah. been designed on here yeah Very so pretty. I love this paper um, we have about 30 styles at Sulip uh -huh. and I love it because it's taking it, it really uh, speaks to my passion which is which is turning something that once was waste into something beautiful and I think it's very very important in this day and age that we live with that consciousness in everything that we do so these other papers are made of um, this paper is made of a um, a plant-based fiber. Uh, uh, it looks like lace. You. Yeah, it's well, it was printed. And... It was printed with a lace pattern. Oh, it's exquisite. You can yeah. almost frame those. I know these papers. Um, we have so many papers at Sulip that people come just to 
buy. And they range from $6, you know, uh-huh. up to $32. But most of them average around $10, $12. And um, they're beautiful just hanging in your yeah, window yeah. as poster art, really. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk about more of your Valentine uh, gift-giving ideas yeah. and maybe a little bit more of just things that we can do to uh, to make celebrate, the, to yeah. make Valentines and celebrate those those yeah. moments, right? Yes, yes. You're listening to Home Wizards, and as we can't forget Elvis uh, on this pre-Thanksgiving, uh, pre-Valentine's <laughs> Day. Boy, where am I? Uh, you're listening to Cindy Dole here. You can call in and maybe you have a question, 888-KFWB-980. We're back in a moment. Don't you go away. That's the whole thing, is that making something is so much better than buying it, right? You're listening to Home Wizard Cindy Dole here, and I'm with Wanda Wen, who is with Sulip, a beautiful store that's all about fabric and textures and and gift wrapping, and she's written a book called The Art of Gift Wrapping, and they also put on great... uh, well, wedding extravaganzas, and, and yes. we're so lucky to have you here with us, Wanda. So tell us about making our own Valentines. It's oh, coming up Monday. Yeah, Valentine's Day is uh, just, what, two days away, February 14th. And at Sulip, we have a lot of um, a lot of wonderful papers, handmade papers with deckled edges. You know those papers where they're not um, straight edges, uh-huh. but they have the deckle. And, and people love that because it's sort of old world, yeah, very feel tactile. The, oh, it's it's yeah, making, rich. Make, I really encourage uh, everyone to make their valentines because it's such what a what a wonderful thing to receive. I mean, see, this course, feels better than crane stationery. Well, crane is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the I'm old a... secret: you got to hold it up to the light. <laughs> is there a watermark in there? Yeah. Uh huh. It's but pretty. We, um, not only do we have beautiful blank paper, but we have great little packets of dried flowers already packaged for you for you know eight dollars, and you can create your own cards or multiple sets of cards, mm-hmm. and um, of course well, they personalize it. Yeah, personalized. Yeah. I mean, look, look at this beautiful That's cute. piece. This My is, Valentine has a little, yeah. little diamond, little Tiffany little, there. Little, well, Swarovski <laughs> crystals. And, and our calligrapher, Alexei Shirakov, uh, calligraphed these. Um, so they're originals. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, Valentine's Day is a wonderful. It's just my favorite time of the year. And you could come in a Sulip. And, of course, if you, if you don't feel like you have the creative bug in you, you could come in and just you know, buy off the shelf great Valentine's cards. Do you guys have classes there or? Um, we will. We, we do have them occasionally. Gift wrap classes, uh-huh. journaling classes. and But yeah, you should, if you're interested in classes and, and anything paper related or book binding, you should call our store. Call Sean Bradley. He's our manager. Oh, okay. he's, he's putting together um, the Sulip Sunday School. Oh really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and I love this little journal. This is very, a very Aww. cute and thoughtful uh, Valentine's gift and something that you keep in your home. Oh, it's yeah. a, a red uh, piece of leather yeah. uh, with a suede on the inside and, and beautiful. Is it parchment or beautiful well, paper? It's, it's a cotton paper. Cotton it's paper. Uh, from the Amalfi mm-hmm. cotton uh, cotton mill on the Amalfi coast, and we are just stocked full of little journals, big journals, photo albums. Look at this yummy photo album. It's just um, it's a treated red burgundy leather, and for Valentine's Day, how wonderful it is to give something that's personal. That perhaps maybe you're giving someone a journal, but write a little note to that that person mm-hmm. who you're giving it to or write a little love letter to someone or if you're doing a photo album um, as a gift perhaps use the first five pages and embellish it with your own with your memories of yeah, yeah nice yeah. and I love the stamp idea we talked about this oh, before yes. I mean that really uh, can be so that can be so pretty well, and it's so so sentimental because mm-hmm. it's, it's your travels right yeah well it's my travels but now because we we have so many uh clients who love vintage stamps um we have oh and um, even have the love stamps those oh, are yeah those uh, are old valentine's day oh, stamps. yeah right now we have about six different collections of vintage stamps packets that are that are enough to send your letter even though these stamps are four cents 25 cents 15 cent stamps when yesteryear it used to be 25 cents to send a mail send a piece of mail now it's 44 cents so we put together a collection of stamps either two stamps or what a nice stamps. gift yeah oh it's a wonderful gift uh-huh. um, I mean anyone who who's sending a Valentine should should use these stamps because it's just it's just nice to see these stamps mm-hmm. on the outside of your envelope versus Cute. just the modern day stamp and these I think would these will look really cute uh, in a frame. That would be, make oh, a nice yes. little Valentine's oh, gift, yeah. and then something you could display in your home. Oh yeah, well people use these for a lot of crafts. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I mean they really are little pieces of art in and of, of themselves. And the and the reason why these stamps look more interesting than modern stamps is in the olden days they used to engra- the printing process of stamps was engraving. So when you have engraved 
um, engraved printing, the intensity of the color is very, very intense versus now the stamps are offset printed, you know, oh. four color process printed. I was going to so, say, because those yeah. really do look so beautiful and Don't vivid. Don't they? Yeah, they're very vivid. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, and we we also have this great. This is my favorite item. It's the Sulip Love Letter Kit, and it is a it's a complete set with two pieces of beautiful onion skin paper, a handmade envelope with uh, mm. with little um, chips of uh, rock inside, so it sparkles, and then a set of vintage stamps. So you can take this love letter kit. And write a letter to your honey and send it, and that's all you need to do. Oh, isn't that Yeah, pretty. all it requires is your heart. And it looks like it's the, the color of the year. It's that shade of pink. <laughs> it's everywhere. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us, too. I mean, speaking of love, you guys are also about um, helping people not only say uh, that they love each other, but say I do. And you yes. have a, a Sulip Wedding event, yes. right? Yep. A what sulip, is that all about? Well, a Sulip Wedding is a modern bridal event that, that uh, really serves to inspire uh, the bride. And we are going in our 12th year. Uh, it is taking place at the Bel Air Bay Club on March 6th from 11 to 3. And we are very, very happy to announce that we will be in San Francisco for the first time for our first inaugural San Francisco event on March 20th at the Bentley Reserve. So it's a um, it's a wonderful day full of um, there's about 50 different companies that are there that will be represented from gowns. Claire Pettibone is who we're featuring as a gown designer in uh, Los Angeles. And Marina Morrison is is the wedding salon that we're featuring up in San Francisco. And they will do uh, fashion shows. And then there's people that will join us. Uh, for instance, um, some of our major sponsors are Gumps up in San Francisco. Love Gumps. Yeah. Love Gumps. Um, gosh, many different floors. Krista John Lefandowski, who is um, the owner of Downtown Flowers, is really the florist of the moment. And she will be joining us um, both in L.A. and San Francisco. And then there's chocolates and cakes, um, everything that has to do with wedding. Of course, mm-hmm. imitations by Sulip. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's a four-hour event. And then the, the other great thing about the event is that there are four different, in each location, there are four different panel discussions that we will hold. Um, on a wide range of topics that range from fashion and beauty to etiquette, wedding etiquette, uh, to uh, um, uh, what else? Eat, drink, and be merry, like entertaining. And then my favorite topic this year is conscious celebrating. And uh, the people on our panel for conscious celebrating range from um, someone that is... um, doing gardening and we're introducing a new initiative called the couples garden which really is an initiative that we hope to inspire newly engaged couples to plant a garden during their engagement period thereby sowing the seeds of their marriage and not only that but growing elements that they Mm -hmm. can use in their food that they serve, whether it's uh, lettuces for a salad or whether they want to grow tomatoes for their main dish or growing flowers elements of flowers that they could use in their bouquet as they walk down the aisle oh, how nice. or integrating the floral into the centerpieces. But it's um, what I'm very, very passionate about with weddings is really inspiring the couple to plan from the inside out and planning from the heart rather than from the outside. The aesthetic. material stuff. Yeah, yeah, because in the end, that's what's most meaningful. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole panel at a Sulip wedding on conscious celebrating. I love the couple's garden idea. Yeah. I mean, it, really, gardening is is all about the family. And, and we course. we see how it's helping kids, mm-hmm. you know, going to connect yes. with nature. It helps yeah. older people live to be 100 plus mm-hmm. years old. It helps yeah. All of us, uh, just to kind of de-stress. That's one of my things that I do, yeah. just to kind of to get grounded, get a grip, right? <laughs> yeah, get a grip. And then we have when we have the garden, we have beautiful things we can use to wrap a present. Exactly. Because I, I love how you use those leaves. Oh I mean, yes. What is that one um, design? Oh, that idea? wrap. It's a. It's is a, it a palm? Is it well, a palm? It's like or a, a banana, it's a banana leaf? leaf. A banana leaf. Yeah. So it's a banana banana leaf. So they're they're pretty large, and you have a large surface. But I love um, I love wrapping tiny things like earrings or necklaces, and you can wrap. You can use those palm leaves to wrap small things with and then wrap it almost like a burrito and then tie it with something thin like a gold twine or Mm. embroidery thread yeah but what a very unique way to receive a gift well Mm -hmm. tell people how they can find you in your blog uh, sulip.com right well our our website is sulip.com and sulip is spelled s-o-o-l-i-p and if you are interested if you're a bride all those brides out there you got to check out a sulipwedding.com and tickets are available online and there's 
$35 uh, online or $45 at the, door, at the door. So I encourage you to go online. And then we also have Facebook pages for uh, a Sulip hello? wedding, of course, <laughs> a Sulip wedding and also Sulip. And then if you're really interested in the gift wrapping, there is a separate Facebook page on the art of gift wrapping. Wow. Mm-hmm. Your paper even has its own Facebook fan page. Oh, huh? yeah. Jeez. We're out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, when I get a tweet from your paper, I really am going to know that we are connected. <laughs> Wanda Wen, thanks for ha- being here. Great to have you. Sulip.com. And um, I'm inspired. These are beautiful things. Oh, look at this pretty oh, ribbon, too. It's, All it's right. hand-dyed well, silk. Oh. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Well, happy Valentine's Day. You brought joy to us all. Thanks so much Thanks, Cindy, for, for sharing part me. of your Saturday. Up mm-hmm. next, uh, speaking of red and pink and all these things, we're going to talk about color and the psychology of it because there's a reason why you feel a certain way when you walk into your home or someone else's home and you go, hmm, this color, not so much. Or, hmm, got to have that color. Home Wizard Cindy Dole, more on color and your home after this. See your truth.